Welcome back to the Montana State Bobcat Dynasty on NCAA Football 06. And as you can see, the Bobcats are going to be squaring off against Ohio State in their final game outside of conference play. Brian Fontenot is their quarterback. Only two incompletions for him in their only game of the season, and he did throw a touchdown. Not a ton of yards, though, as he only attempted 14 passes. That's because Hunter Lawson went off for 255 yards and three touchdowns. Not really any big numbers for their wide receivers, as their quarterback didn't throw the ball too much. But defensively, the Ohio State Buckeyes played great. Look at all those TFLs and sacks they got. And then Ronaldo Williams came away with a pick. And that win came against NAU two weeks ago, 34-10. Big win there by Ohio State, a fellow Big Sky Conference team in NAU. But I think we're a better team than Northern Arizona is. Obviously, we'll see next week when we take them on. But I think we got a better chance at beating the Buckeyes than the Lumberjacks did. Ohio State with the football to start off the game. Hunter Lawson on the kick return tack on the 15-yard face mask. And they're nearing midfield and the fullback is going to cross it. Here's the first run of the game for Lawson as we saw 255 yards last week. And if we can shut him down and make Fontenot throw the football, I think we got a solid chance. But first, we got to shut down Lawson. He picks up his first first down of the game there. He gets his third carry now on the draw right up the gut, picking up a gain of five. Out of the I formation, it's going to be Lawson again. Brought down at the line of scrimmage by who else but Jimmy Kent. Already three tackles on the game. And on third down, Lawson gets tripped up as he takes it up the gut, but enough for the first down. Now a toss play to the left for Lawson. Anthony Ross is there for his second tackle of the game now, but it's going to be another first down for the Ohio State Buckeyes. Fontenot looking to throw for the first time today, and he's going to get punished in the backfield by Jimmy Kent. Maybe that's why they haven't been throwing the football so much this season. Looks like they're going to do it again, though, as they're coming out five wide. Incomplete pass as Nichols drops it. Now third down and 17, Fontenelle looking to throw. He has time and he finds Jones over the middle. Absolutely no pressure to speak of on that play. Now goal to go. They're going to give it to Lawson, weaving his way through traffic, fighting his way into the end zone for the Ohio State touchdown. Their first drive mainly consisting of runs there as to be expected and Montana State's defense couldn't really shut him down. So here's our first look at the offense. Ohio State, one of the best uh, home crowds to play in. So if you're the Buckeyes right now, you're doing great. If you're Montana State, you're not loving this. First pass of the game is going to fall incomplete for Fuller. And that's going to lead to an early third and 12. Fuller flush to his left. He's going to stop and fire this one downfield. Trying to connect on the sidelines there with his receiver. Instead, Ohio State gets the football and some pretty nice field position to go right along with that. Nice run there by Lawson, picking up a quick first down. Nine carries for him already, averaging over five yards. Give it to Lawson again, and that's going to be another nine yards for him there, setting up second down in inches. Give it to Lawson on the last play of the first quarter, and he's got it. Almost goal to go now, just inside of the 10 after this next run. It's going to be third and three from the five. Lawson with another carry. He's going to get spun into the end zone for his second touchdown of the evening. Ohio State early on feels like they're starting to take control of this one. All right, we went three and out on our first offensive drive. Can we get a little bit of something going today? Throwing this one to the right side for Murphy, the freshman. He's not going to be able to do anything there, though, as he is double covered. Now Fuller on the option play. He's going to keep it, makes the first man miss, and picks up the first first down for Montana State. Now here's a run by Ryan Carter. Carter gets the edge. He has the first down and more tackle is missed, makes another man miss. He's going to get into Buckeyes territory. Here's Fuller taking the snap, rolling out to his right, stopping and firing this one to the end zone for Will Black, testing the one-on-one -on -one coverage, but it's going to fall incomplete. Now a high snap for Fuller, throwing this one to the right side. There's his first completion of the day to his favorite target, Will Black, getting out to the 25-yard line. 
Fuller looking to throw again. Now he's going to be rolling to his left, stopping and throwing. Picked off by Kirkpatrick there. And that's what's just one. We have to throw it over the linebacker. I'm not sure what Fuller was doing there. Bulleting that pass right into the hands of the defender. If he just floats it right over him, that's a completion. So now Ohio State trying to... Uh, just add on to their 14 point lead that they've got already going and 78 yards already for Hunter Lawson today make it even more as he takes it to the left side avoids a tackle gets tripped up at midfield five yards away from the century mark already and he's already gonna hit it now as he picks up a first down on the very next run cooking at the 33-yard line. They're going to give it to Lawson again. Everybody knows what the play calls are going to be for the Buckeyes, and yet Montana State can't stop them. Here's yet another run for Lawson, weaving his way through traffic, and he just seems to be getting better as the game goes on. Over 130 yards now. Throwing for the end zone, incomplete as he was trying to connect with his tight end. Here's another fullback dive, the second one of the game. He's going to get down to the two. Can we put up a goal line stand? No, we cannot as Lawson gets into the end zone for his third touchdown of the half, his sixth of the season already. He's averaging one touchdown per quarter right now. This pass to the left side, taking a deep shot, broken up. Fuller looking for Marcus Lumpkin as the Bobcats try to put together a two-minute drill to get on the board before the end of the first half. This pass downfield off of the back foot of Fuller, once again looking for Will Black, who's the only receiver who has a catch today for Montana State. That trend continues as once again forcing the ball into double man coverage. Will Black unable to haul that one in. Ohio State gets the football with less than a minute to go. Trying to add on to their lead even more. Lane on the reception for the first time today. Picks up two yards. Now a draw play, and there we go. We finally got a stop on third down. 41 seconds left to go in the half for Montana State at their own 20-yard line. And there's just your second completion of the game for the Bobcats. Two for 10 for Fuller. Both of those going towards Black. Fuller flush to his left. He's going to throw this one at the last second. This time he gets it over the linebacker. That's to the tight end, Hanson, and he's going to be down at the 27-yard line. Fuller wants to throw again, flush to his right. He's going to float this one to the end zone, and it's going to be caught. Jeff Murphy, touchdown, Montana State. The freshman has his first in his career now, and it was a pretty good one, as you can see there. Just a little flick of the wrist by Fuller, and then Murphy able to bring it in right in the corner there. So kicking this one off to Lawson, here he has one good kick return today, plus he had to tack on that face mask there. He doesn't even need a face mask this time to get some good extra yardage. Starting this drive at the 46-yard line, just 8 seconds to go, but if they can get a big play, they, they can get in the field goal range, and they do so there right over the head of Eddie Fine. And now tacking on a field goal before the end of the half, the Buckeyes are going to lead 24-7. But Montana State gets the football to, so, to start off the second half of play, so we still got plenty of game left to get back into this one. First run of the game goes nowhere, though, as we've been really struggling at running the football today from players who aren't named Kevin Fuller. I would love to get a running back going. But we're not going to be running here on third down. Pass over the middle. Just a tad out of reach for his receiver. And Montana State goes three and out again. We get some heavy pressure on this play here but uh, unfortunately uh, the quarterback still able to get it out to his tight end over the middle but there we go with a big TFL Robert Alexander loss of five there and then tack on a loss of four after that third down in 19 front north looking to throw now firing this one to the left side incomplete as that pass sails out of bounds and they're going to have to attempt another field goal this one from 50 yards out and they nail it Montana State with the football now yet again, trying to get right back into this game. If we can, instead it's going to be picked off. That's Jason Armstrong with the pick six. And we've really dug ourselves into a hole now. After the extra point, it's going to be 34-7. to Fuller quickly back out here on the field. You have to have a short memory if you're a quarterback. Uh, we all know that, and hopefully he can put that interception behind him. Nice big run there as he gains over 20 yards. Now taking a shot to the left side. It's going to be broken up by the safety looking for Will Black again. 
Fuller. Maybe he's just forcing the ball to Will Black today. He doesn't do it on that play, though. Diving for extra yardage there as he already had plenty for the first down. First and 15 now after a false start penalty. Fuller rolling to his right. He's going to throw this one for Ross Lewis who has to come back to the football. Third down and one now. Fuller once again wants to throw. Doesn't have anyone open so he's just going to use his legs. That's been what's been working best for him all game long so far. And that's going to get us just inside of the red zone. Now pass over the middle. It's going to be caught by Turner for the Montana State Bobcat touchdown. Great throw right there. Getting it over the linebacker right into his receiver's hands. Down by 20 in the fourth quarter. We've seen crazier comebacks happen before. Can we get one going here? This pass to the left side is going to be to an open man. That's a lane down the left side there. Just inside of the 25 is where he's going to be marked. How about a fullback dive now as this defense, it seems like they're kind of gassed right now. They have had a real tough time stopping the run today. No touchdown there, but Hunter Lawson gets down to the goal line and toss play to the left. He's going to finish the job as Kent trips him into the end zone for another Ohio State touchdown. 41 to 14 is the score. Fuller running on this play as the Buckeyes defense not spying him, which is kind of interesting, but do they even need to at this point? This game is starting to feel like it's getting out of reach. Fuller's pass downfield in and out of the hands of Will Black as the hit jars the ball loose. Third down again. Fuller finally has time in the pocket, but nobody open. Throwing this one downfield for Black. Did he drag the toes? Yes, he did. Big play there for MSU. Fuller rolling to his left once again, an open running lane. A nice spin move there as he's inside of the five, diving for the pylon. They're going to mark him out at the two. Running this one with Carter now, diving for the end zone. Touchdown, Montana State. But with just over under four minutes left to go, I'm not sure we're going to be able to do a whole lot. After a failed onside attempt, uh, the Buckeyes have the football right back, and they're down inside of the five, and the fullback's going to finish the job. Another touchdown for Ohio State. Man, MSU came into this game with a little bit of hope, at least, that we could do a little bit better than uh, the Lumberjacks did. Not doing so, so great uh, so far today. How about Will Black over the middle, though? That's going to get him right on the century mark for receiving yards today on four receptions. Now taking a shot to the left side for Lumpkin. He goes up and gets it tackled into the end zone for the Bobcats. That's going to make it just a 20-point deficit again, but with under two minutes left to go, a comeback seems kind of out of reach for Montana State. But the defense would get us a stop with 50 seconds left to go. But can we score three touchdowns? Going deep for Lumpkin again. Double man coverage. It doesn't matter. Wow. Inside of the six or down officially at the six. Inside of the ten now. Montana State. I mean, once you felt like this game is out of reach, Fuller just started taking shots. And a lot of them have been working out. But can we get this one into the end zone? Fuller rolling to his right. Has nobody open. It's going to be knocked away on fourth and goal. No extra garbage time points here for Montana State as the Buckeyes win. 48-28. A strong win there by Ohio State. Meanwhile, Montana State, obviously, they were not favorites in this game. But they were hoping to be a little bit more competitive than they were. I mean... We've been building this team for quite a while to be able to compete with these big-time schools, and we just don't seem to be there yet. Only 10 for 33 for Fuller today. He did have 304 yards and three touchdowns, but he also had those two interceptions, including a pick six. Fuller was our leading rusher, though, a buck 22 for him. Only 20 yards for Ryan Carter. Will Black, as we saw, 100 yards. Marcus Lumpkin, 112 yards. Both those on just two receptions right there, all those yards. And that, uh, that came in the fourth quarter with a touchdown. Robert Alexander and Jimmy Kent combined for 19 tackles today. They were just all over the place, but still had a tough time stopping the run. And then Jimmy Kent came away with the only sack of the game for us. Eastern Washington's going to get a big win over Michigan State. That's one of the teams we already beat earlier on this season. Not a good year for the Spartans so far. Idaho's going to defeat Idaho State by just two points after the Bengals tried a fourth quarter rally there. Portland State puts it on UNLV 
45 to 17 big time win for them our opponents next week NAU they get their first dub or actually their second dub of the season I should say as they defeat Weber State and finally Sacramento State they get blown out 42 to 29 they are 0 and 3 on the season that's going to be a wrap on today's video thank you guys so much for watching I really appreciate all of you and until next time this has been Jeffrey reminding you to stay moist